Hello and welcome to Music Made Simple. Lesson 22, Accidentals. In Lesson 21, we learned about the keyboard, especially the white keys, and how they are represented on the staff because they have the same names as the lines and spaces of the staff. What about the black keys? How do we give them names? We give the black keys names by the use of accidentals. So today, we want to talk about accidentals, which are signs that help us to change the pitches on the piano or on the keyboard by semitones. Kindly of revise lesson 20 on keyboards so that you can have a better understanding of what we are discussing today. Accidentals. How do we distinguish between a white note and the black next to it? What name do we call the black note? Thus far, we have been dealing with basic notes. Basic notes in music are the white notes on the keyboard and they are represented by the first seven letters of the English alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. When we play or sing these white notes, their names correspond to their pitch. However, the pitch of basic notes can be altered by the use of signs that are called accidentals. There are five types of accidentals. The sharp, the double sharp, the flat, the double flat, and the natural. Now before describing the work of accidentals, we should make two general statements. One, all accidentals are placed to the left of the note they are to affect on the staff. Two, accidentals are called by the names of the notes they affect plus the accidental itself. Thus, we have B flat written B flat, F sharp written F sharp and so on. The flat. The flat lowers the pitch of a basic note by a semitone. Since the pitch of a flattened note is lowered by a half tone, it means the pitch falls on the black note to the left of a white note that is flattened. This implies that the black note to the left of E becomes E flat as shown in the example. The sound of E is, so the sound of E flat now will be, the pitch is lowered exactly by a semitone. In a similar fashion, the black key behind G becomes G flat. The one behind A is A flat. The one behind B is B flat and the black key behind D is D flat as shown. Similar to the discussion on sharps, note that if C is flattened, we will get B as C flat since there is no black key between B and C. Also when F is flattened, E is the tone obtained. The double flat. The double flat lowers the pitch of a basic note by a whole tone or two semitones. For example, F double flat is shown. F flat will be E because E is a semitone from F. 
F double flat will then be two semitones from F, which will then fall on the next black key behind E, which is E flat. So F double flat is equivalent to E flat. In this case, the double flattened note falls on a black key. And this is the sound of F. F flat, F double flat. So, the second example is B double flat. B is a white key and B flat is the next black key behind B. The name is normally B flat. A double flat will therefore move to the white key behind B flat, which is in this case A. So B double flat is equal to A. And this is a case of a white key being the double flattened note. The double sharp and double flat do not commonly occur in music because they can be notated as another note. For example, we can notate as A rather than B double flat. The natural. The natural cancels a previous accidental. The natural has no effect upon a basic note unless the basic note has previously been affected by another type of accidental. We shall study more about this in the next lesson. In the example shown, the first note on the staff is F. When F is sharpened, it becomes a black key in front of F as shown. That is F sharp. When F is naturalized back, it comes back to its original position as a white key. When F is flattened, it becomes F flat, which in this case is E, since there is no black key again between E and F. F is then naturalized again so that it goes back to the original white key. In this lesson, we have learned about the accidentals that help to lower or raise or restore the pitches of notes on the staff. We learned about the flat, we learned about the sharp, the double flat, the double sharp, and the natural. We also learned that this accidental help us to name the black keys relative to the white keys. Next lesson, we are going to learn about some applications of accidentals and how they help us in pitch notation. That's it for today, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button below the video in case you have not done so, so that you can continue to get updates of new videos as they come out. And also, if you have enjoyed this lesson, please click like.